<laughs> Normally that's my role. But, uh, <laughs> so Anthony, we're here at HQ at Silverwater because you're Australian owned, Australian made, and we're actually in the lab. Now this is your passion right here. Laboratory is the heart of the business, really. Yeah. Everything that we do uh, has its genesis in here. Uh, every product we've ever put out has to have had time in research, development, yeah. uh, and testing in this crucible here. When you made the decision to really kind of start focusing on sustainability and vegan, where would where that all come from? Our family had been in the hairdressing industry in the 1930s, yeah. really. Uh, <laughs> barbers, my father and his brother, then ladies hairdressers uh, opening their own salons since in 1945. Development of products came as a need uh, from their salon to have products that would give them the quality results that they needed and they had very high standards. They taught themselves cosmetic chemistry yeah. every evening. They would work and develop products for use in their own salon and right. that eventually became a Delva Hair Care yeah. which they ran in conjunction with their, their salon, the De Lorenzo Salon, which yeah. was a, a quite a large operation in, in Sydney with over 40, 40 hairdressers. The oversight by uh, Vincent and my father over every hair that was being trimmed, <laughs> if it wasn't them that do, was doing it. Eventually they thought they'd like to retire and they did. They sold the salon and then Delva. After a period of time, we thought we still have a lot to contribute to the industry. Yeah. And uh, we came together as a family with the concept of our family name on our products uh, with the thought that we'd like to step into the zone of natural based products. And that was yeah. in 1987. And we made the conscious decision to remove those, which was technically hard in those days. Yeah. And we replaced them with non-petrochemical uh, ingredients yeah. and ingredients made from plants instead in lieu of animal-based products, so. So it's, it's a combination of finding a solution and then digging into that solution and making it more beneficial for Earth and- And it's yeah. an ongoing process. Right, it's an it, evolution. It yeah, it, right. It, I guess I guess the other part of it looks at by having an Australian lab, by having an Australian manufacturing, by having an Australian facility, that enables you to then be quite uh, nimble in your approach. When we uh, manufacture a uh, product, that's the end point of a long process that starts in here and in our technical studio. Yeah. So it might take a couple of years of development especially for a large range. Mm. In fact, we've just launched a range of products you might see here, the uh, Novatone range, and that was a, a, a very long process of development. To get it right, we're very excited about it because there's not many companies in the world that can make uh, these sorts of products. Yeah. You know, being Australian, Australian made, Australian owned, of course, and yeah. the team we've got with us are they're in here for the long haul. This is what I've discovered is Paul Park here, over 50% of people here have been here for more than 10 years and you've got people like Kev, who's been here for 32. <laughs> That's like, right. That is a incredible culture that yes, you Yes, yes. All right, last question is, who does your hair? <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, we're here in one of the aisles of the factory that you have. Four parks so people understand, what kind of numbers are you doing? Skews out the door. So this time of year, 12,000 to 15,000 units a day. We're happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Across Australia and over to NZ as well. That journey to get to those kind of numbers has taken a little bit. I believe we're in about year 37 now. We've been building on our principle, which is uh, natural based yep. hair care products, which when we started, wasn't very popular. It actually makes life harder to make a formulation from plant-based ingredients versus your traditional chemicals. Yeah. It takes longer. Yeah. And yeah. we benchmark against the best in the field, so it makes it even harder. But <laughs> it's, it's been interesting walking around the factory today. The amount of people that are here, the facility itself, the lab, manufacturing to distribution, all under the one roof. To have a production facility and a distribution facility, yeah. there are numerous laws that you must comply with. Yeah. 
we've done all that. We keep doing that and we're here for the long term. Yeah. I feel we're just getting warmed up. We um, like that. Yes. We uh, like that. There's more to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going next? There is something fresh just come out. Yes, you've been hey, reading ding. our mail. <laughs> <laughs> New range called Nova Tone. Yep. It's a gel colour and it came out just post COVID. A little COVID baby. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Basically, we're excited for that because it completes our colour story. Yep. We call it Nova 360. Nova is our colour range and 360 is um, the full circle. Yeah. And so it's colour from any angle. Yeah. The famous Aspire trips that are coming up. Where yes. are we off to next? Uh, Phuket, yeah. Thailand. Awesome. Lovely. We're looking forward to that. We've got some exciting speakers. We talk about hair trends in the industry. Yeah. And it's just a get together of like minded people. Hairdressers aren't afraid to have a good time when they get together. And, no, they uh, are not. So, um, what better place than Phuket. Absolutely. Yeah, so not too far to go and um, we'll, we'll take your booking later. <laughs> <laughs> awesome.